Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade and this is the Sims 4 Amazon Challenge. So of course I load up in game and our lovely, lovely Diana here is just chilling, staring at the dead cow plants in the grave of Sasha and just chilling by this creepy tree. For some reason, I'm very much not surprised. You know what? I kind of want to make her be argumentative and then have uncontrolled emotions. I want to play around with having negative things because she is hot-headed and materialistic and dastardly. Like, she's going to have a good trade, don't worry, you guys. Like, But she's a teenager going through some things, and I think it would be fun... I wonder what this will do, like what one will go down. I think it'll be fun to just, you know, give her some bad manners. <laughs> oh, that's manners. I don't want her manners to go down. I don't think there's reason to have bad manners. Okay. What will make... Can we, like, make her do anything? Let's shout forbidden words? I don't know. I'm just trying things. So we can get this down... <laughs> By clearing enemy, declaring enemies, and like being mean to people. Oh, what did that minus? I didn't see. And then we can get this down by having an emotional breakdown, shoving or biting, um, destroying dollhouses or school projects. So, just getting in fights with random strangers is, I think, our best way to go about this. So I am going to work on that. I'm going to try shouting forbidden words again because I didn't see what that minus is and that's kind of important. So let me try that again. I was too distracted. It's nighttime right now. I just wanted to show you guys that she was just hanging out by this creepy tree. That goes down manners. I don't want her manners to go down because I don't see a reason for her to have bad man manners. But Morella is going through a mean streak phase. Oh my. Okay. That's fine. What's everyone doing? You're very playful, child at heart. Oh, you may never get to be a kid again, but that doesn't mean you can't act like one. You guys, I'm not ready for them to die. <laughs> oh, we never finished her soulmate aspiration. I feel like we should do that. Why are you sad? I'm not... Okay. So they're just chilling, hanging out, being super cute together at our lovely place here. What do you want to do, my love? You need to go home. You've done a lot for us tonight, so you can go ahead and go home. Um, yeah, she got to th her first stage of that done, so that's good. Morella's having a mean streak. Okay, I want to create their bedrooms, so I think I might do that. I'm going to be going to Texas next week, so I'm trying to pre-record. I don't know how well that's going to go, because I have a lot of stuff going on right now, so I might I've been kind of slowing down on videos anyways, because I haven't been particularly inspired, but that's something that I'm working on changing. I've just been in a weird place, I feel like, you know, that always happens, but right now, um, I'm working on pre-recording, but when I'm in Texas, I just plan on doing builds, because I won't be able to record anything, because I'll be sleeping on the couch at my aunt's house, so I won't be able to, like, voice record things, but I think I can do some really cool builds, and that would be a positive thing. So I'm gonna maybe make their bedrooms because they really need them. It'll be awesome if Morella will be a teenager when I make her room or I'll just make her teenage bedroom because that's gonna be fun because I think that's when you first become a vampire. Like she'll actually be a vampire. So I'd like to do that and um, I don't know. I just think it'd be fun. I want to think, let me look at her skills real quick, sorry. I'm like clicking on everything that I don't need to click on. I want to see, what manners should she have? I feel like, so she's going to be a vampire, right? So, oh, I didn't know you could see these. I feel like vampires should have great manners. Maybe? Like, maybe she should have really good manners and just be, like, kind to other people. I feel like... I almost feel like she should be not responsible. Like, I think that 
would kind of make sense because she lives she's gonna live for forever i don't know i haven't played with these traits but i, I don't want them to like be bad and i feel like she she just naturally has good emotional control so we're not gonna mess with that i f almost feel like she would be actually really empathetic to other people or totally not and it just depends on like what she goes through for their life i feel like she'd be empathetic because she feels like I don't know. Maybe we just won't give her anything specific, but I think we should give her good manners if we can, maybe. I don't know. I think this is fun. We should think this through. Um, we need to get her responsibility up, because she is responsible. She's just been having issues with school. So, how can I get that up for the last little bit? Um, taking out trash, brushing teeth, and cleaning up toys. Okay. So, I'll have her do that, and then I feel like I feel like she has to have good emotional control for being the queen. And she should have good conflict. I think she should just have good everything, theoretically. But we have to see if we can actually do that. So, I'm going to try that. You want to go exercise, Lynn? It's nighttime. I think Lynn is feeling a little bit lonely. It's Every time she calls us, it's not always about the fact that, like, she's having a premonition or anything like that. I think she's getting a little lonely recently, and she misses us, but we kind of feel like we can't have contact with her. <laughs> Why are you in the bushes? <laughs> Let's just go take a shower in here. That's funny. Okay, I'm going to play through the rest of the night, and then um, we'll be back in the morning, you guys. All right, everyone, we are back. It's the morning, and I'm having the girls currently read some books for skills that I want them to have. So our lovely Diana here is reading about mischief. Hesta is reading about gardening. Please don't be putting that away. Okay, she's reading about gardening because I think she's going to get really into just anything outdoors. Right now, Athena is working on yoga. She's currently level two. What the heck? And then she's going to write in her journal and then read about charisma because charisma is important. She actually went out jogging last night, so she got her emotional control up. And I had her do her homework and her responsibilities back up. So that is good. And I was thinking today, maybe we could go out to the city or something and it caused a little havoc to decrease all of our things. And then also to do our lifetime wish of being disliked by two sims and performing mean or mischievous actions. So I think that would be a little bit fun. Let me, okay, is there any skills I need you to get to level 10 that you're almost there? Fitness. Come up here right now and get to level 10 of fitness because that's the only one... I have left that I need you to get to level 10 before you pass away. You... I mean... You can work on charisma more, I guess. So I'm just gonna have you come in. Oh no. She's almost dead. Okay. Uh, why don't you go to sleep? As I prefer that you didn't kill yourself via exercising too much, that would be a painful experience. All right, Athena, I think you've done enough yoga. You've done quite a lot with your skills today. Are you still reading? Good. As soon as she gets to the next level, or as soon as, like, everyone gets to a good level, I think we'll go out. And Morella's birthday into a teenager is the next part, which is very exciting. So I'll be throwing a birthday party soon. Oh, God, I'm excited. Okay. Wait, where's Hesta? I just love how Hesta, like, sat out here to read her book. Don't put it away. I don't know how much her skill went up at all. Um, almost to level two. Don't put it away, please. Actually, I had to harvest some plants last night, too. Can you just, like, not put it away so I can have you continue to read it? Because that would be helpful. Did she put it away? I really wish Sims wouldn't put books away. Because I find it very annoying when they do. Like, can you just put it in your inventory and not put it away unless I tell you to? As that's just kind of how I want this to work. Did she not put it away? Now I'm confused. Okay, no, she didn't. It's in her inventory. Okay. But let's see. We need to keep all frogs for breeding purposes. 
But let's sell some of these plants and things here that we don't need. Actually, I might want to put that in her room once I design her room for her. So we'll keep some of that. Oh, we should get her in herbalism. <gasps> Wait. Okay, let's have her start reading an herbalism book as well. So, because we never got an herbalism. And we have a lot of insects. So we can totally get an herbalism. So I'm going to have her do that. She needs gardening and herbalism. She'll be good to take on adventures then for like gardening and stuff. Which is exciting. I also gave... I don't think I meant to give her the vampire book. I meant to give you the vampire book so you can continue reading it. But we'll keep these for her bedroom so she can just deck it out and keep things. Oh, I gotta design her room. But I don't want to do that tonight because I don't have a lot of time. It's already 9 o'clock, which is just stressful. Okay, you. Charisma, good. You're getting emotional control via something. I don't know how. You are done reading. You're dancing. Okay. She put the book away, so I'm going to have to get that back out, of course. But let's be mischievous. Who do we want to... We could be mischievous to someone in the house. I mean, that seems kind of rude. But we could get people in the house to hate us. Who would we want to be mean to, though? Because I feel like... I don't know. I can't... I, feel, I would feel too guilty to do that. So I actually think we should travel out into the world and bring our sisters... Even though our sisters are doing things. And go make some trouble in the city, maybe? That would be fun. I feel like she would just bring her twin. I don't know if she would bring Athena. So we'll just bring her twin. And she wants to boohoo in a bush, of course. And she's sick. Of course she's sick. Okay. But let's go out to the city and cause some people to hate us because I feel like that just should be our life goal as soon as she's done getting to over here I think she wants Athena to like her but she's too afraid like I feel like she's intimidated by Athena because you know Athena is going to be an important person person and she's upset that like she's not going to be you know so I feel like there's just some jealousy there involved but I'm going to catch up back with you guys when we're in the city. All right, you guys, I decided to visit the park in San Myshuno. And right now, Hesta is currently checking out the parks. She's like reading the monuments on them. And so one of them is, this park was once the estate of a scientist and herring baron, Barba Sky. After his mansion was gutted by fire and the fish muggle gifted his extensive gardens to the people, of the Proviso, and his personal observatory remained standing and free of use to any budding astronomer living in the city. To this day, the telescope is maintained and updated by the Barbamsian Scientific Society, which is cool. And I'm doing this because you get an achievement from it, and it's important. But she's going to be collecting frogs and stuff like that. But Diana has seen a girl that she's seen around from school and decided to, you know, give her a little bit of a rude introduction. Because she doesn't like this girl. Because it's the popular rich girl, Luna Valentina. This plaque commemorates the shift factory meteor strike and subsequent big lizard incident that raised the fashion district to ash. Like a phoenix reborn, the district has risen from the disaster to become an ex explore what explore of regeneration. With reward winning modern architecture in a vibrant festival scene. In a vibrant. That was just a lot. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to straight up just shove her. We're giving her a mean introduction and just shoving her because that's just how we feel this morning because we're uncomfortable because we're sick. So we're going to be very, very rude. Let's just... I want to get a picture of her shoving her, not scaring her. Um, how do I shove you? act tough we're gonna act tough i can totally see her acting tough i feel like she's really like insecure kind of so she acts tough to like you know deal with it my dog is breathing so loud in the background i think i have to take her out but we'll do that after this part but can i get a good picture of you shoving her please just like shove luna for me i i could really use that mock uncool adult Shove her. Do they not shove? 
That's really disappointing. That's not a very good picture, but I'm trying. I don't know why it like doesn't show me her shoving her. I find that really offensive. Okay, um be little anger because how dare you be angry? Hey, get back here. I'm not disliked by you yet. <laughs> I'm not done being mean to you yet. Hang on, Jar Jar. Let's shout some forbidden words at her. Yeah, follow her down. How dare she just leave you when you're not done yelling at her? Oh my god, that girl's body is unrealistic. She's got, like, the Kim Kardashian butt from that picture. Damn, girl. We're just gonna get a nice Snapchat and snapshot of us acting crazy. Um, of us being really mean <laughs> and just not feeling good. <laughs> Wait, I'm not done being disliked by you? I mean, I am disliked by you, but I'm not done being mean to you yet. Ah, I pressed the wrong thing. I need to delete these because they're annoying. Okay. Yeah, no, come back here. And then I'll be mean to this nice, pretty street vendor. Let's rile her up. She's already angry, but we need to make her really hate us. <clears throat> Do we get Christmas girl from this? That'd be kind of funny. Yeah, how dare you be a popular girl. <laughs> I don't even think she's actually still in high school, but whatever. Let's invite her to a fake party. Because we're trying to reconcile now, you know? We're just being a good person and, you know, trying to talk to her and be kind to her and not be as mischievous by totally being mischievous. We should insult him for not dressing nicely. And then we're going to, I'm going to try to shove her again. I just want to see it work correctly because it hasn't yet. So we'll see if we can get it to. She's at, this is such a pretty park. I need to come here more. That is a girl, not a guy. My bad. I'm sorry for assuming your gender. Sorry, inside joke with friends. But also probably with whole world. Look at them both look, they both look miserable from like being mean to each other. Oh, never mind. She's got a nice little glint in her eye again. She does like being mean. She's just miserable because she's sick. Maybe. Or maybe she doesn't want to be a mean person. Oh my god, what if they become best friends after this? <laughs> Just go away, please. <gasps> oh! Oh my! Are you trying to start a fight? Do you want to fight right now? I think she'd back off, because I'm pretty sure she knows she wouldn't win. All right, let's pick a fight with someone else because we're really angry that she, you know, was rude to us. Actually, we're going to order food. Go ahead. So she's been collecting some frogs and stuff. So let's see what we got. Do we have anything good? Striped eggplant, sunflowers frog, and an eggplant frog. Let's breed that with the sunflower frog or the eggplant. Let's see if we get anything good. We did not get anything good. It's okay. We're trying. I'm just learning. <laughs> Frog breeding's annoyingly complicated for some weird reason, but whatever. We're trying at least. Oh my god, those are worth $60 now. Or 55 Wait. No. Wait. Yes. That's right. <laughs> just had to think that through real quick. Um. Yeah, you can keep whatever else is in your inventory. What are you eating? Why are there so many tourists? That's interesting. I like that. She's eating some nice egg rolls. Who should we insult next? Should we fight a tourist? I don't like how muscular she is. We won't win. We can target this poor lady. Is this a cupcake? Oh no, she must have gotten the <coughs> round ball thingy, majiggies. Oh, there's another thing we can go look at because i think we haven't gotten this one i think all 12 must be in this park like i feel like that's the way it works these aren't letting me click on them and i'm really upset because i want to get my poster collection okay it let me click on it now but it doesn't matter <laughs> this is a cute little beer garden that i love and i want to hang out with at some point or hang out at at some point 
Oh, and you can do music there, too. That's so cool. I want to, like, live in the city again. We, I haven't done that in forever. I feel like it'd be so fun. Um, is there anything else out here? Can I grab a poster from you? See, like, this one wouldn't let me click on it last time. Oh, the fish are too much for us. That's okay. We're at least trying. She's learning everything, you know? There's a- oh, that's a bathroom. I was like, there's another stand? Damn. Oh, 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 oh. Found one. It's like an Easter egg hunt. <laughs> Gotta find them all. I feel like there should be one in the actual thing, but I also feel like there totally wouldn't, because if you destroy it, then you can't do it, so there's not going to be. Um, I don't know, where would another one be? Because we've already been to this one. No, we went to that, wait, no, yeah, we've been to this one. Yeah, because that's the disaster one. I don't know. Where would some more stuff be? Can I grab a poster from you? Damn it. That's so disappointing. Alright, whatever. We'll just let her do those things. She wants to hang out with her sister later, too, so... Are you still being mean to the poor, unsuspecting tourists? Does it say tourists on them? Oh, it doesn't, but that's, like, what they have going on, which I think is cool. We gotta end this part soon, but I want to insult this lady more. Oh my god, we have to mock her uncool outfit because it's true. So let's mock outfit. Diana's taking her first steps. So she has one of the recipes. Let's just straight up just start screaming at her. <laughs> like we're unstable. <laughs> oh boy. And then I really need to, you know, act like the tough teenager I am and scare her because we gotta add some mischievous things in there <laughs> and then mock uncool adult on this spot the llama freedom movement was born a simple protest known as the llama sit-in shocked the public with its extreme use of acoustic guitars, hair flowers, and slightly tuneless singing. Though many years have passed since that day, the spirit of activism remains alive and well, and will continue until all llamas are free to strut and spit and neck wrestle with their heart's content. I love that. That's so cute. Are we unliked by you yet, sweetheart? Because I feel like we should be. We are. Sweet. Oh. Who do you think you are? Back off, girl. Take a step back. You better step back off me, bruh. So we need to get level 3 mischievous go, which we're almost there, and then, or mischief go. I don't know why I always say mischievous. And then cause mischief on the computer three times. So I think we're done here for the day. And we're just gonna see what this last plaque says, and then we'll get going. Or I'll end this part, I mean. Alright. What's it say? I know you're hungry. I'll let you get something from a vendor. Raised in memory of the Open Street Act legislation, which allowed communities of all cultures to organize celebrations in our streets, the progressive vision of our founding fathers has allowed generations of residents to enjoy the many delights that Festive City has to offer. Cool. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this part. If you did, leave a like down below. And tell me if you think you kind of like what that I'm going to be doing with our character values. I think it's really interesting and it'll add some cool things when they're older and just to see how it affects them, but I'll see you all in my next one. Bye-bye!